Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is April the 18th of 2023 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. This word today will encourage those who have been praying for their loved ones, for their households, for their wayward children, and will encourage us that our efforts to teach them about the ways of the Lord will bring forth fruit. This word today is titled, Watchman on the Walls. I'll begin by reading scripture. Ezekiel 3, verses 17 through 21. Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. So hear the word I speak and give them warning from me. When I say to a wicked man, you will surely die, and you do not warn him or speak out to dissuade him from his evil ways in order to save his life, that wicked man will die for his sin, and I will hold you accountable for his blood. But if you do warn the righteous man not to sin, and he does not sin, he will surely live because he took warning, and you will have saved yourself. This word, of course, was given to the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord had called him as a prophet to the nation of Israel, and his responsibility was to direct the people to warn them of the consequences of wrong choices and of not honoring the Lord. And though we may not be prophets to the nations, we are prophets to our own households. We are the voice God has chosen to train our children up in the things of the Lord, as well as to keep watch over our households to protect them from the enemy's schemes. I hope you will be blessed as you hear this word today. I'll begin reading. I am opening the eyes of those who could not see how my plan to reach the nations fits together, says the Lord. Soon the revelation will be released, and these shall seek to understand how the puzzle pieces fit together. I will make the way clear, and I will make you ready. You will be equipped for the position you are to be placed in. And just as a puzzle piece is lifted up, moved, and fitted perfectly into place, each one shall be lifted up and placed tightly into the exact place prepared for them. The time is short, and I am speeding up my coming to the nations and putting the pieces to the puzzle together and placing those into the position of ministry I have ordained for them. As the puzzle is completed, the Lord shall appear to those who have longed for his coming, and they shall join with him to take the nations and the nations shall be trampled. The grapes shall be thrown into the winepress and crushed. This is the day of the harvest of the earth. Whatever a man has sown, he shall reap. If he has sown discord, he shall reap havoc. If he has sown the good seed of the gospel, he shall reap an abundant harvest of souls into the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived, for God cannot be mocked. Everyone will get his just reward. In the ministry I have prepared, all loose ends shall be tied up, and every need shall be taken care of. It will be supplied by your heavenly Father. I am able to do all things, to hold all things together, and to cause you to prosper. And in this day, 
you will prosper, says the Lord, for an abundance of riches from my storehouses are about to be released into your households, and your sons and your daughters shall prosper and be in good health, and they shall enter into the fullness that is prepared for them. Each one of them is precious to me. They will no longer wander in a desert land. They will no longer be outcasts, but they shall prosper and live in abundance in the land that I am taking them into. For those who have been faithful to train them up in the way that they should go, a reward is forthcoming, and it shall be great, for you have prevailed over the enemy and taken the ground and have not backed down. There is a sound in the heavens, the sound of heavy rains, the sound of hoofbeats. There is a well deep within you. Draw from this well, and you shall never go thirsty." For this is a well of living water that never runs dry. This well is about to gush forth from deep within, and it is about to spill forth out and onto those around you. It shall wet the dry ground, filling in with silt the cracks in the hardened earth. It shall bring healing into the lives of those around you. Your children shall receive these healing waters, and they shall drink of the life that flows forth, and they shall be raised up as from dead into everlasting life. They shall be blessed abundantly by this constant flow that flows forth from within you. I am about to bless your households in a way unseen or known of. I am about to release abundant rains into your households, and every dry plant shall spring to life. Every gifting that has been planted into the lives of those in your household shall flourish and bear fruit. Those who have sown in tears shall reap in joy. I am setting watchmen on the walls, says the Lord, and posting you upon the walls around your household. I am equipping you with every piece of ammunition you will need to ward off enemy intruders, those who come to sow discord. You will be equipped with every weapon available, and not one of the enemy's messengers will be able to penetrate the wall of protection I am surrounding this place with, for this place shall be used greatly of the Lord, and no foul thing will enter its sphere of influence. I am sending many into this place, this haven prepared, this place of refuge for those being ushered into the kingdom of God. The Lord is telling us in this word that he is releasing an abundance of riches from his storehouses into our households. My interpretation was that he was referring to our homes and to our sons and daughters who are under our care. But this word can be extended to the church as a whole, to God's household but however we interpret it, the Lord is encouraging us that we will see fruit from our labors as we continue to teach and train and admonish those who are under our care. The Lord is releasing rains upon the earth and healing waters that will raise those who've been dead to life, those who have wandered away from the faith, those who are experiencing deadness of heart, and they will be raised up into everlasting life. The Lord is bringing a harvest in from the earth. And yes, whatever a man has sown, he will reap. And so what we have sown into the lives of our children, 
into the lives of those who are under our authority, we will see good fruit and a harvest of souls coming into the kingdom of God. The Lord has called us to be watchmen on the walls, to take our position, to ward off the enemy and intruders. He has called us to stand and to protect that which belongs to him, for he is preparing a haven, a place of refuge for those coming into the kingdom of God. May we take our places and be ready and equipped for God's movement forward in these things. May we continue to be faithful, to speak his word, to teach his ways, to counsel and warn those who need to change their ways. And though their choice may be the wrong choice, we will have done our part in the ministry the Lord has called us to. May the Lord open our eyes to see and understand his plan of action in this day. And we can see the children need protection because the enemy has come with an onslaught against them. And so our households are being bombarded with ungodliness. But I pray the Lord will strengthen us and encourage us to fight against it and use the ammunition he has given us to ward the enemy off. May he fill us with his holy boldness and may his plan go forth to reach the nation. I hope this word today will encourage you that you have an integral part to play, that you are a puzzle piece that the Lord wants to fit exactly into the right place. May he enrich us all with his favor. May the Lord bless each one of you hearing this word today. Thank you for listening. And we'll talk to you again the next time in the next video. Have a great afternoon. Bye for now.